Alrighty guys, welcome to part two of my uh, 1965 Fetters Weather Wheel Restoration update. On the first part of this update, we cleaned out the switches, or we, we just we cleaned out the switch, and it turns out the sticky part of the problem is gone. The rubbing alcohol worked. So now we're going to be reinstalling the switch and testing it to make sure that it's nice and clean and hopefully the compressor will kick on because I'm gonna trick the thermostat hopefully um, get the compressor to come on so anyway guys I'm gonna put you right there so you guys can can see what we're doing here so we've got our uh, well we got one of our two screws uh, the other one fell so I'm gonna have to try to find it um, but anyway guys, we're going to go ahead and grab my impact driver and we're going to go ahead and install the screws or at least the one as of right now. So, so, so I'm going to insert the screw like that into the switch unit. So I'm going to get it to grip, which it did. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and drive it. We're going to drive it in. Okay. All right, that's holding pretty strong. So anyway, let's see if the other screw will fit. Uh, and if it fits, we'll be able to use it for now. All right, guys, hold on just a second here. Oh. All right, guys, give me a minute here. That screw just fell. That's what happens when we don't put it up on the work so on the on the workbench. Uh. All right, guys, I couldn't find the original screw, so I want to see if this one will work. Uh, anyway, I'm going to see if I can stick my light here so, so you guys can, um, you know, can see a little better here during, uh, the screw installation here. Okay. All right, guys, that screw doesn't fit. So we're going to have to drive the one that's in down as tight as it can go. So until we find the other screw so we're going to go ahead and all right we're going to go ahead and drive that down okay that'll do it guys it's nice and sturdy so okay now that the uh switch is back and installed we're going to go ahead and uh give it a test and we'll see how well the cleaning came out so you know guys um i did double check my wiring and i feel confident we are ready to test all right guys here we go so we're gonna go ahead and hit okay so you guys see how that went in nice and smooth so we're gonna go ahead and um trick the thermostat so what i'm gonna do guys is when i breathe out i'm gonna breathe out slowly so the air coming out of my mouth is really warm, so therefore it'll trick the thermostat and get it to kick on. Oh, before I before I forget, guys, let's get you near the compressor so we can so you guys can hear it start. All right, there's the now. Yes, guys, I did uh, I did just put another coating of paint on it. It was the second coating, so. All right, guys, let me uh, readjust my light here so you guys can um. Hopefully we'll get it starting up. Yes, this is an AJM15-94. So anyway, guys, let me trick the thermostat and we'll see if it comes on. There we go. All 
All right, guys, we're going to give it just a minute there. So, guys, I did. We are going to clean the thermostat, too, by the way. So, that's going to be in part three of this update. But, um, what we're going to do, guys, is once the refrigerant stops flowing, we're going to. We're going to test it on the switch. Yes, guys, you can hear the refrigerant flowing still, which is good. That means it's got a full charge. Um, I, I was doing temperature checks on it this morning, um, this morning before I left for school. And it was, temperatures were even throughout the unit. So that means it's still got a full charge. And, and I'm very happy about that. I mean, despite the fan motor failure, guys, it's still working like new. So, and I'm very, very, oh, hold on, guys. Look, give me a minute here. So, guys, I'm going to show you how to trick the thermostat, by the way. Um... So first thing we're going to do is we're going to shut power off, which it, we're going to unplug it here in order to trick the thermostat. Because you have to get real close for this. So before you guys go tricking your air conditioner's thermostat, if it has one like this, um, make, sure to, make sure to unplug the unit. Or if you cannot unplug it, shut off the circuit. Okay? You guys, we, you got, you know, we, must, put our, we must put our safety first. So that's why, so you guys can see, there's the power cord for it, so it's unplugged. So guys, I'm going to show you how to trick the thermostat. Alright, so what we're going to do, I'm going to put you guys here and I'll show you what I do in order to trick the thermostat and get it to turn on. So you guys can see our thermostat right here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to exhale nice warm air onto the bimetal strip on the thermostat to get it to kick on. All right, guys, it's going to take another breath or two here. All right. All right, guys, here we go. We're going to put you back near the compressor so you can hear it start up again. Now it's been two minutes since it restarted. Alright guys, here we go. All right. All right, guys, that worked. Rubbing alcohol did the trick. You know, we tried the switch, and it's nice and clean, guys. The rubbing alcohol worked. So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, so, after we clean the thermostat, that's when we're going to do an actual test. So that's when we're actually going to turn it on. We'll let it run for a couple minutes. So let it build head pressure. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope you found this one helpful. Um, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to email me. I will put my email down in the description below. And if you guys have any questions, you know, like I said, you can email me. You know, you can leave a comment down below. Uh, so anyway, guys, this is part of continuing restoration on my 1965 Fetter's weather wheel. Look at that. See, so guys can see it's um, cosmetically restored as of right now. Now we're starting um, operational restoration. So we're going to be like doing a lot of cleaning and stuff on the wiring. And we're also going to be checking capacitors for defects. Um, but anyway, guys. Um, so I hope you guys found that vid this video helpful. You know... If you guys have any questions, feel free to contact me. Like I said, I'll put my email in the description below. And I will also, 
And um, so, guys, I also got a little, uh, for those of you who are HVAC fans, you know, for those of you who love vintage air conditioners, um, so I guess, guys, I'm getting a second air conditioner all along with the Fetters weather wheel. So anyway, guys, so you, all you guys have to do in order to get the answer correct is you just have you just have to search you just have to search for the title of the video. And so, guys, so so guys, so I'm going to give you most of the title, but I'm not going to say what brand the air conditioner is. So, guys, so the video title without the brand it's a the video is called a 1960s whatever brand large chassis air conditioner so all you guys have to do is type in a 1960s large chassis air conditioner and when you guys find the video with my name with my name and um, channel post the link post the link to the video and if you guys get it right because I will I'll make sure to double check I will pin your comment so anyway guys so that's the little quiz right there guys I want you guys to find the video all I guys want you to do is just type in a 1960s large chassis air conditioner that's all you have to type in and then just look for a matching video and it will have the brand but remember guys you know look for my profile look for my uh, look for my channel profile picture with the jet planes on it and Joe Burke so anyway guys so go ahead and do that little quiz and like I said if you guys get it right because I'll make sure I will make sure to double check guys so I'm gonna hold up my end of the bargain and double check so anyway guys I hope you guys enjoyed that I hope you guys enjoyed this um, if you have any questions like I said feel free to comment down below and you know, if you guys want to learn more about my Fetters weather wheel, you know, please, please don't hesitate to ask. And um, also, guys, let me show you something else we got. Um, I'm working on restoration. I'm working on restoring as well. Um, so, yeah, guys, there it is. That is my uh, 1913 Lester Cabinet Grand Piano Action. It's That's, um, reference, that's the technical term used for a large upright piano that sounds like a grand like with the really long strings you know big action um, incredible sound anyway guys that was just uh, another little update there uh, but we'll focus on the Lester action another in another video uh, I'll show you some of the progress and some of the defects I found that we're going to be fixing um, but anyway if you guys feel you know, if you guys feel, you know, if you guys feel the urge, you know, to ask me some questions about the piano action, you know, please ask, okay? Because I, because um, that's what we want, guys, is I, I really want your guys' feedback on what you guys think of the Fetters weather wheel, you know, the other air conditioner when I get it, and um, the um, action, and the upright piano action. So if you guys have any questions, like I said, I will email, I will put my email in the description below. And you can also leave comments, too, because that's what they're there for, guys, is for you guys to give me feedback. So before we go, let me show you the Emerson fan real quick. There it is. You guys see it's um, it's not on right now. Um, I, didn't, I do not have it plugged in. Um, but anyway, we'll, we'll, um, we'll, we'll do a separate video of me running the fan for a minute or two. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to comment down below. And uh, we'll see you guys in part three of this video, which part three is going to be cleaning the thermostat. And then part four, we'll be testing the thermostat. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Please feel free to ask, like I said, and I'll see you in the next video, which is part three, cleaning the thermostat on my 1965 Fetters Weather Wheel restoration.